Welcome to The Right Stuff from Goldspot Pens, a podcast that guides you from pen noob to aficionado in less than 20 minutes. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, we'll explore the latest pens from Italy, Sailor's new Manio 2 collection, and make back-to-school suggestions for new college students. Lastly, I'll give away something on my desk. Our headlining pen this week is not just any other ordinary Leonardo pen. It's the latest Goldspot collaboration, this time between Mackenzie Penworks and Leonardo Officina Italiana. So last week I shared my latest pen acquisition in the Momento Zero Grande Jonathan Brooks Primary 1. This week I was so excited to share with you guys the Momento Zero Foresta Umbra made of Tim McKenzie's diamond cast material. The forest of shadows swirls with lush green and deep brown. The pen is enchanted with sparkling, conflict-free diamond dust throughout the resin. In fantasy stories, an enchanted forest can be a dark, mysterious place, full of mystical beings, wonders to explore, and wellsprings of power. When the story's protagonist enters the forest, they're usually changed in some fundamental, profound way. This is the inspiration behind the making of the Foresta Umbra design. Kieran is particularly proud of this material as she helped guide Tim McKenzie in pouring the exact colors and swirls that you'll find throughout this pen. Leonardo matched the lustrous resin with polished ruthenium black trims and a ruthenium coated stainless steel La Fenice nib available in seven different nib sizes. The Momento Zero fills by international converter or cartridge of which the converter is included. Even the piston knob of the converter is ruthenium finished to match the trims. You can access the knob by either removing the grip section or the blind cap. Foresta Umbra, our latest Leonardo collaboration, is a limited edition of 150 pens made with the edition number and a cute tree engraved on the back of the cap. Find this pen only at Goldspot for $199. Next, we reintroduce you to two classic Omas pen models, the Ogiva and the Paragon. In the heyday of the Omas Pen Company, both designs were well known for their vintage appeal, classic Italian styling, and superb writing performance. True to its inspiration, the modern Ogiva fountain pen has an elongated oval shape made from acrylic resin and decorated with accents in either palladium or gold. A 14 karat gold nib and ebonite feed provide a supple, smooth writing performance. As someone who had previously owned an Omas Ogiva fountain pen back before the company closed in 2016, and it kind of looked like this blue one, it was a, called the Blue Angel Cocktail, I'm glad to see the design made a comeback at a price that was just as competitive as the original cocktail series. With a retail price of $450 for a piston filling pen that writes with a 14 karat gold nib and ebonite feed, this is a solid option for a next level gold nib everyday writing fountain pen. But if cost is no object for you, then another Omas pen we just released might entice you even more. Using rods of original Omas celluloid, the new impressive Paragon displays the depth and luster of these materials with its 12-sided grand shape. Vintage pen collectors will recognize the black and white wild celluloid, the marbled Blue Royale and green saft materials seen in this modern collection of piston filling fountain pens. The trim and accents convey an art deco style that matches the pen's vintage inspiration. As with the Omas Ogiva, the Paragon writes exceptionally well with a 14 karat gold nib and ebonite feed. While the Ogiva might be a great everyday workhorse pen, the Paragon is a grail worthy option that is more dearly priced due to its precious celluloid. Omas actually redesigned the piston filling mechanism to ensure that the celluloid is protected from ink corrosion over time. Whether you pick up the Omas Ogiva or the Paragon, the fine and medium point nibs will ship this week while the broad nib will be coming in September. Inspired by the best-selling Manio ink collection, Sailor introduces a new set of Pro Gear Slim fountain pens paired with a matching Manio ink color. This special edition is only available outside of Japan in five colorways with a 14 karat gold nib. Now here we have the Violet Manio 2 fountain pen set, which includes a 50 milliliter bottle of Sailor Manio Kikyu and a Sailor converter, so you can draw ink into your pen. The other colors are grass, moss, wisteria, and rabbit ear iris. 
Each includes a different color bottle of ink that serves as the design's inspiration. To express the Manyo color combination, Sailor plays with the transparency of the PMMA resin material by tinting a transparent barrel one color and then complementing it with a different hue in the cap and the grip section and finials. Instead of the Sailor Anchor logo, the Manual Collection has a different finial icon for each pen style. The Manual 2 Series is available in the Pro Gear Slim size, fitted with a 14 karat gold nib, available in fine, medium fine, or medium point sizes. The Manual 2 sets are on sale for $312, which is 20% off the retail price. And now for our question of the week. RG writes, what supplies would you suggest for a brand new college student that loves pens slash stationery? Already has Preppy, Prefounte, Lamy, and Caveco. Ah, college. I remember those days so long ago, yet it feels like yesterday thanks to paying back student loans all these years. Well, RG, it sounds like you got the pen department pretty down pat and we won't suggest any pens here. But I would suggest looking at paper and being able to carry your writing tools to classes, the library, and anywhere you might be studying. So paper is important because fountain pens use liquid ink that tend to render lesser papers a bleeding, feathering mess. I showed the difference between using good paper versus bad paper in the best notebooks for fountain pens video. In short, it's not pretty if you use just any notebook you find at the school store. At Goldspot, we offer a variety of fountain pen friendly paper notebooks, notepads, and pocket notebooks. There are all different types of notebook sizes, page formats, and bindings to best fit your system of note taking and organization. So my first suggestion would be find a notebook, or two or three, that you feel will best accommodate your semester's workload. Then to bring your writing supplies everywhere where you study, I suggest investing in a good pen case. There are great options for a carry of five and under pens and a notebook. You can carry both a writing instrument and notebook in one place using an A5 size organizer like the one I have here that's made by Shibui for $95. And if you want to have your entire daily carry of pens with you at all times, you might want to fill up one of these Estherbrook to-go cups. These pouches cinch at the top to protect them while you're on the go. Then you could deploy them on your desk when you're ready to get down to business at a retail price for $59.95. And if you're looking for something a little more fun and modular, take a look at the Rickshaw Bags Koozie Case and Pen Sleeves. The Koozie Case has enough space for pens, pocket notebooks, packs of ink cartridges, and other accessories you might need. Now, while there aren't any pen slots built into the case, you can get Rickshaw sleeves with their polyester plush inner linings. They're very, very comfortable for pens. You can fill the sleeves with your pens, then fill the koozie case with the koozie sleeves, and off you go. The koozie cases are $49, and the sleeves start at $19 for the solo pen sleeves. So I plan on carrying some of my pens to this weekend's DC Fountain Pen Super Show on Friday, August 4th. If all goes to plan, you'll be watching this video while I'm navigating the Marriott ballrooms with the owners of Goldspot Pens. While my purpose is more to chat and less to shop, I know many pen enthusiasts will be shopping the show for a great deal on a fine pen. If you're coming on Friday, don't be shy, say hi. If you can't make the show, you could still get a great deal on fine writing this weekend. So this weekend only, what you'd wanna do is you wanna go to the Goldspot Pens website, you wanna click on Last Call, find any of the awesome pens that you find on Last Call, also Bottle of Inks, other things that are on there, and use the promo code DC2023, that's DC2023, to get 15% off, an extra 15% off, any of the items in the last call section. This coupon code will expire on Sunday, August 6th at 11.59 p.m., so be sure to get on that and make your purchases by that time. So congrats go to RG for being picked as the question of the week. You've won the prototype Retro 51 Pan Am that we offered up in last week's episode. For this week's prize, let's give away one of these Estherbrook to go cups in a color of your choosing. Just, you can't have the pens in this one. Those are my pens. So to enter, you must be subscribed to the Goldspot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future episode. If I answer the question of the week, you win. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Write Stuff Podcast by Gold Spot Pens. Now, go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Until next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.